Configuring Link Front End on vServe 3, Stage 3. In the Deployment Wizard, verify that Install Topology Builder is completed. If it's not, click the link and run through the wizard. There are just a couple steps. Open up the builder. Select New Topology. Pick a name and you can store the file anywhere on the machine. Specify the SIP domain. This is your external domain name. Click Next. Click Next. Specify a name. Next. Populate the site details and Next. Finish. Next. Specify a local FQDN and select Standard Edition Server. Click Next. Check Conferencing, PSTN, Enterprise Voice, and Next. Leave this page alone and click Next. Click Enable Edge Pool and click Next. There's nothing to change on this page. Click Next. Change File Share to be Link Share, matching up to the file share that we made in previous steps. Next. Specify the external web service URL. From the DNS settings we set up earlier, we want webservice.macroconnect.co. Click Next. This page is for specifying the SIP trunk. If you haven't signed up for one yet, you can click Next. Otherwise, we're going to click New. This information is different for each install. Intellipeer, our SIP trunk provider, gave us this IP address, told us to listen on 5060, and to set to TCP. Click OK. Click Next. Notice that it's blank. Click New. Click Next. On this page, specify vServe 4, which is our fourth virtual machine that we haven't configured yet, and specify Single Computer Pool. Click Next. We're going to check everything on this page because we're using one IP address for the access server. We're going to enable Federation and we're behind a NAT firewall. Click Next. On this page, specify macroconnect.co, 443, 4431, and 4432. Click Next. The IP address for vSERV 4 is 10.0.1.204. Type that in there. This is a second IP address on vServe 4, which is 10.0.1.214. This is what we're going to connect the firewall to. So external traffic will go via that address. Click Next. This is the IP address in DNS that ties to access.macroconnect.co. Click Next. Click Finish. And click Finish. Now go to Edit Properties, scroll down, click Add, specify link.macroconnect.co slash dial-in, HTTPS, and say Make this active, click OK. Click on the old one and hit Remove. Make a new one for meeting URLs. Pick a SIP domain set the URL to HTTPS link.macroconnect.co slash meet and make it active. Click OK. Remove the old one. Scroll down. Specify an admin ID, a URL of HTTPS link.macroconnect.co slash admin and pick a front end server for the central management server. Click OK. Click Publish Topology and step through the wizard.